So here is a boring bullet point list. Let us try and make this more engaging and interesting. The first step is to select everything, right click and go to convert to smart art and use one of the basic smart art list elements. So go to list and select the first one and say OK. Now right away I have a much better looking layout. The next thing I'm going to do is to use a plain white background for all these text boxes. So I'm going to hold the shift button and select all these boxes. Go to home, go to shape fill and say white fill and make the font color black. Change the outline to dark gray. Then let us change the font type of our subtitles. Now to select multiple subtitles at the same time, you need to select one hold the control button and then select the next one and the next one and the next one. Change the font type to something you like. Now to remove the bullet points from each of these text boxes, I just need to go to the bullet point option, click and then hit tab to get the alignment right. So do the exact same thing for each of these boxes. So that makes it a little bit neater. The next step is to draw the viewer's attention to one box at a time. So I'm going to apply custom animation. So go to animations, then use emphasis option, object color. We want the effect options to be yellow or orange in color. Go to animation pane, make sure that everything starts on click. So each one starts on click. If you click on the drop down menu of this animation events, you can see that each of these animation events happens on a click. When I go to slideshow, on a click, I have the viewer's attention on the first point, then on the second one, third one, and the fourth one. Now, if you want the attention to move from one to the next, it's very simple. Select the group once again, add animation. Since we already have an animation on these boxes, we want to add animation. Go to emphasis once again, go to object color, change the effect options back to white, this time, let us have this as with previous. Now you can see that we have these ones which are changing the color from orange to white and the first set changed from white to orange. Now I'm going to change this animation event which is from orange to white and place it next to the second animation event and say it is with previous. Same way move the next one to third, next one to fourth which is the way it is and the last one you don't really need so I'm going to just delete it. Now let us see what happens. On a click I have the attention drawn to the first one. On the second click you can see two things happening. The first text box changing the color from orange to white. At the same time we have white to orange happening for the second box. The same way white to orange for the third box at the same time orange to white for the second box. So that is exactly what is happening and in the last click we move the attention to the fourth item and that is it. So exactly that is what we have done here. Now while this is pretty good there is one other thing we can do to make this even more interesting. I'm going to break this into individual boxes so I'm going to select this. Go to Smart Art Design, Convert and Convert to Shapes. Then let us take one of the boxes. You can see this is the box here. Press Ctrl C to copy and press Ctrl V to paste. We don't really need any of the text elements here because we are going to just use the box and that's it. And let us use the same orange color that we used earlier. Change the outline to no outline. Then keep this to one side. The next thing we are going to do is to select all these boxes while holding the Ctrl button. Go to shape fill and say no fill. Now let us move this orange box and place this right on top of the first box. Right click and send it to back. So now we have got our attention to the first box. Go to animations and say fade. So that introduces the first point. Then let us select that yellow box. Add animation. This time I'm going to use lines motion path animation and make it move to the right. And we can have this end exactly where the other box ends like so. Once again select this yellow box, add animation, lines and this time it is going down anyway. So select the box, change the end point so you can see that this is the end point. You can either move the box to this point here or we can move it to this. I am going to change my order of explanation so I am going to have this as my third point. And the starting point is going to be shifted from the earlier point to 
this one. So it means in the first animation, we go from here to here. And in the next animation, we go from here to here. Now, let us do the final one. Let us select that orange box, add animation, the last lines animation, and we say it is going to move to left. Now, we are going to change the end point to correspond with this fourth box and change the starting point to correspond with the third box. You can see that the starting point snaps pretty nicely with the end point of the previous animation. Now, let us select all the line animations. Let us make this pretty quick. So I'm going to change the duration to one second and then click on the drop down menu, go to effect options, add a bit of a bounce end for some drama. And now when I go to slideshow, on a click, I draw the viewer's attention to the first one, then to the second one, to the third one, to the fourth one, and your audience hangs on to your explanation all the way through. There are other ways to present your list in a very engaging fashion, and this is one of the examples taken from our comprehensive all-in-one bundle. You can see that a hand comes and presents the icon first and then the corresponding explanation. A different way to present your list is like this, where we have the first one, the second one, the third one, and the fourth one are shown. If you want to extend this further, you can build slides for each of the points and can have this linked to those individual slides as well. The next example is this, where we show four points like this in a very interesting way. I really like this particular animation. The last one is to throw a spotlight on each of the points. You can see that the spotlight moves from one to the next. Our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle has more than 4,500 such premium animated PowerPoint templates to help you create beautiful presentations fast. Click on the link in the description, watch this video and find more details about this product. Now we have got the price quite attractive, so most people would be able to afford it. If you want to receive 25 creative presentation ideas to upgrade your presentations, join this 5-day free email course by clicking on the link in the description box below. If you liked this list animation, then you will really love this other interesting list animation we have created for you called Interesting List Animation in PowerPoint. I will leave a link to that right now on your screen. Click on the link, watch that video and learn another exciting trick to draw the viewer's attention to your presentation. I'll see you inside that video.